What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Auto 3 Garage. And as you can see, I got me a 4L80E. Uh, we are going to change it out uh, because we do have a 4L60E, which is a light duty. Uh, this is a heavy duty. These are usually found in 2500s, 3500s. Uh, your express vans, that's like, you know, more heavier and all that. Um, but this is built tough right here. Um, but fingers crossed because I have got this from the Facebook market for 800 bucks. I was planning on getting a f really, really new one, but then I said, you know what? Um, let's just, you know, let's just be risky and let's, uh, go, you know, a cheaper route and all that. But I mean, I'm glad I got this, um, but I'm excited and we're going to see once we get it in do a segment swap and all that when it's time for that. We're going to see if she's going to hold up and all that. But anyway, that's the old uh, torque converter. Um, so I'm going to end up getting a new tor uh, torque converter uh, from D-Circle. Um, I'm going to end up changing these two fittings right here to a 6 AN because I'm going to run this these lines to like a, a trans cooler with a fan. And also, we got to get a yoke. And also, we're going to have to get a new cross member because this one is pretty longer than the 4L60, uh, just a hair or so. And also, I'm thinking about doing a Transgo uh, shift kit, uh, like redoing the valve body and all that little good stuff. And uh, he told me that the front side got resealed. Um, and that's just pretty much it. Um, but this transmission looked cleaner than you know any other trans i was looking on uh line and you know but i'm glad i got it and all that uh this company called pps no i think it's ppi no i think it's ppsi but anyway he was based in australia i thought he should you know worldwide and stuff but he didn't so I was gonna get like a, a freshly, freshly new one from him for like around like 15. But he only shipped in Australia, which sucks. So it's like, what the hell? But anyway, this came from a express van. Like I mentioned, where these transmissions come from. We got our output sensor right here. And we got our input sensor. So with the 4L60E with my truck, I'm gonna have to repin, move two wires. I think a white and a brown and black wire. Uh, get a pigtail and hook it up to this input sensor, and then the other connectors just connect right in. And this module piece I can use from the 4L60 uh, trans and put it on here, or I probably might just use this. And I wonder, Ben, that just came off the of van. I wonder if I have to get like a um, a different shift cable uh, bracket. I'm guessing I I have to because this one is I don't know I gotta I gotta look I gotta look into that more but I might have to my shift cable bracket might have to be different or something but overall guys this this thing is pretty damn heavy too I'm not gonna lie um so I can't wait till I take drop the other one out I'm gonna have to get a crane or something to drop the other one and just to compare uh, side by side. But the reason why we got this training uh, is, you know, just to have it is this is like built stronger. Let's just say that um, compared to the 4060E, I can drive it like that. But down the road, it's going to probably start slipping and it's not going to hold up. And I don't want to be on the side of the road or anything like that. And I don't want to be, you know, crying about it later and all. So the 4060, I might end up selling it or just keeping it and probably just put it in the Porsche if I want to do like an LS swap on her. I'll just, you know, get a 5.3 from a junk yard, rebuild it and all that, and just put that 4060 to that and just go from there. Um, this uh, training had 130 on, on here, um, which is not bad, um, but, you know, why not? My truck is old, so why not get, you know, an old part for it and all that? Let's just, you know, test the water instead of, you know, spending a huge amount, um, like right at three or 15, but we spent 800. So, I mean, like I said, I'm glad we did it. <clears throat>
Yeah, this thing looked like it been sitting outside because he had it listed it like for about three weeks. So, I mean, it's pretty, you know, got a little rust and all that on it. Not rust, but, you know, from the weather and stuff, you know how stuff get. And like I said, we're going to have to get it yoked and all that. Yeah, <laughs> that cross member, I'm looking at one now. Oh, my gosh, this thing looks so sick under there. Um, or I could just refab the this one under the truck but i don't have no welder and then i'm probably need to invest in the welder and all but anyway i'm probably going to taking this apart just to check underneath so let's get to it so guys i got her turning her over on her side and what i might end up doing i might just turn it all the way over completely i'm gonna just keep her on this uh cardboard right here and then i'm gonna just uh, end up taking her out and i know i know i'm gonna need like a noodle a new trans mount piece but it ain't gonna be nothing so Let's get to it. Oh my gosh, just look at it. Oh my gosh. So guys, I, I don't know, man, I'm just amazed. Uh, with these, like, you know, transmissions and all. Oh, man. Wow. It's, this, it's, a, it's a new harness, too. Wow. It looked pretty damn good, to be honest. Wow. Everything looks stout under here, guys. Just look at it. Oh, my gosh. So guys, I know I'm gonna change the filter route uh, with the new one, um, but like I said, overall everything looking pretty damn good. Bro, I got a little fucking dirt and probably had that damn goddamn crap covered. Might have a, I might have to clean it out just the hair, but everything looking pretty damn good, real good. So guys, this is our EPC uh, solenoid right here. I forgot what this solenoid was. And I know these two solenoids, I believe this is the one to two, and this uh, go from uh, two to three. And then this is our manifold, I believe, pressure plate, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, but I might take the filter off. I really don't want to. I really don't want to touch it. I really don't. <laughs> Guys, I really don't want to touch it. There's a wiggle there, huh? Oh, wow. And the seal look pretty damn good. I think we probably just need to do is clean it up because I see little, just the hair, tiny dirt specks, but I believe. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna end up getting a new one of this though. I'm gonna write down a list of what I might need. I really want to do that, that trans go kit though. But everything look, it might do have the kit on there. It might do. I think it might. Nah, I'm not sure. If I just gonna have to tear her down and see. It probably it look like it got the. I'm not sure. Because he did have a um another harness. I guess um, just to reprogram the transmission and make it like shift faster and all that. And I'm I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Look pretty damn good though. I don't see no metal flakes or nothing. Let me know if this was a steal, y'all. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video off of this. Just want to show y'all this. Um, I might end up probably taking it apart or probably not. I'm not sure what I want to do. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I might just run it how it is and do everything later, or I might do it now while I get it off. So we will see. I might end up taking this valve body piece out. I'll probably do that. Yeah. <laughs>